Dodgers come in that Monday, two weeks from tonight. Now Aguilar blasts one deep into center. Going back, Johnson, warning track. He's at the wall. He leaps. He cannot get it. It's into the Giants' bullpen. A two-run homer for Aguilar. That one to the right of the 399 marker in deep left center. 2-0 Athletics. And the Athletics are hoping that'll be the first of many for Aguilar, who was a home run and RBI man in the past, most recently with Miami, and before that we remember weird. There's a swing, and there's a high drive deep down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It is hooking into the corner, and it goes right by the foul ball. A three-run homer. Ramon Lariano with a soaring home run down the left field line. And the Athletics have three more runs home. Their second home run of the game, and they have a 7-2 lead over the Giants. Well, the A's have hit a couple of home runs in the ninth inning yesterday in Oakland. And they have not been hitting that many home runs this spring. They came into this game having hit just 23 in 30 games. Uh, behind Esteuri Ruiz. Ruiz hits a high fly ball. Deep left center field. Way back there. Still going. It's gone. And the fast guy. It's a two-run home run to left center. Nine to two Oakland. With Tyler Rogers continuing to heat up in the bullpen. So a walk to Langoliers and then the home run. And here comes Gabe Kapler out of the dugout. That was the 90th pitch of the evening thrown by Bidet. Here's a swing. And that ball is hit high and deep to right field. Forget about it. And that one is onto the arcade and bounces up over the fence and down onto the port walk. Booming two-run homer to Seth Brown, who led the Athletics in home runs last year. And it is 11-2 Oakland. Brown, who did all of his best hitting and most of those home runs against right-handed pitching. And that was a, I think that was another one of those sliders going upward on the inside.